All right, so I said in the last couple of videos that I would start talking about why you know the mitochondria are important and exactly what goes on there. So electron transport is what we're going to be talking about, and it basically the electrons are transferred along a chain of proteins in the inner mitochondrial membrane. So these proteins are, are transmembrane proteins. They're embedded in the membrane, and um, electrons are going to be transferred from one complex to, they're also known as respiratory complexes, and um, it's good, the electrons are going to be transferred, losing energy each time they're transferred, from one complex to the next, all the way down until they meet the final electron acceptor, which will be oxygen. Okay, oxygen, this is where, this is where all the oxygen that you, um, you know, inhale goes, goes to use. It goes to use as the final electron acceptor in the electron transport chain. All right, so this is basically the whole process. I wanted to just kind of write out the whole process, given, give you guys an idea of exactly what's going on here. So the proteins involved in the mitochondrial electron transport chain are grouped into three large respiratory enzyme complexes. So there's three main complexes. And each contains multiple individual proteins. So electron transport begins when a hydride ion, so that's a negatively charged, it's not a proton, it's a hydride ion, so negatively charged H minus. Um, is removed from NADH. So remember, NADH is our reduced electron carriers. They carry high energy electrons, essentially. And they also have a low affinity for these electrons, so they easily give them up. And that's extremely important. The NADA, the NADH has a lower affinity for electrons, so they easily give them up to the first complex. And the first complex is down here, and that's called NADH dehydrogenase complex. Okay, I should have probably labeled that on my graph, and I will when we get to it. So, electron transport chain begins with the hydride ion, is removed from NADH, and is converted into a proton. So, it's converted into H+, and two high-energy electrons. Okay, so this is where the electron transport comes into play. So, essentially what, what happens here is NADH donates two electrons to NADH dehydrogenase complex, so the first respiratory complex in the cycle. And after it accepts the electrons, the electrons are then passed along a chain to each of the other enzyme complexes. So there's two other enzyme complexes that they're passed along to, at least in the case of NADH. If we were talking about FADH2, it would be a little different. But in the case of NADH, it's passed from complex 1 to 3 to 4, okay? And... The transfer of electrons along this chain so is, is energetically favorable. So that's it. that's another important point. You know, it's energetically favorable. So the electrons start out with very, very high energy. And as they move from each com one complex to the next, they, you know, lose energy. Each step, they lose a little bit of energy. Okay? And as they pass along the chain, eventually entering what's known as cytochrome oxidase. And that's the final, that's the final complex on the end over here. And I'll show those in a second. So it finally ends up at cytochrome oxidase, where, you know, they combine with a molecule of oxygen to form water. Okay, so those, those electrons are finally donated to um, a molecule of oxygen to create water. All right, and um, the, this is the oxygen. So I kind of drew it out here. These, you know, are my different um, respiratory complexes. So here's the inner membrane space. So this is the inner membrane space where the protons are being pumped, okay? And here's the matrix. So this is the matrix down here. Now I have NADH right here donate two electrons to become, you know, oxidized here to NAD plus, all right? These two electrons go into this complex, this first complex, which is known as the NADH dehydrogenase complex. And the electrons travel through, and some of the energy from the electrons moving through the complex is used to pump protons from the matrix to the inner membrane space. And that's why you see hydrogen ions, I mean, um, protons being pumped from the matrix to the inner membrane space. Then these electrons travel along and they, they get to ubiquinone here, okay, and that's, that's a mobile transporter, and we'll talk more about that later, uh, the exact details behind these, that's a mobile transporter that transports them to the next complex, and the next complex is called cytochrome BC1 
complex. Okay, so this is the cytochrome BC1 complex. The pro again, some of the energy from the electrons passing through the complex is used to pump protons from the matrix to the inner membrane space. And the electrons then eventually lead to cytochrome C. And that's what this stands for. That's what the C stands for. It's cytochrome C. Cytochrome C is another mobile electron trans um, transporter. It transports the electrons to the final cytochrome oxidase complex. Okay. And, and in this part, again, we're pumping protons. Some of the energy from the electrons moving through is used to pump protons into the um, inner membrane space. But the, uh, but the electrons eventually here meet their final electron acceptor, and that's this reaction here, 2H plus plus 1 half O2. It gets the two electrons passed to it and forms water, okay? So that's exactly how this process kind of goes through. So that's a general introduction to the electron transport chain.